We do get a lot of guests on board, the Queen Mary interested in the hauntings and the paranormal activity reported on board. Uh, and we do find that a number of the hauntings do seem to connect to the ship's history. My name is Will Kane. I act as captain of the Queen Mary on a daily basis to all of our guests to visit. Uh, the Ghosts and Legends of the Queen Mary is a tour that originally uh, began in 2000. Now, some of the people who believe these hauntings tie into the ship's history also got an idea that a little girl drowned in one of our swimming pools on board the ship. They call her Jackie. And supposedly, she haunts the, uh, the upper decks here. Yeah. And it was that a special was effects fun. tour <laughs> dealing with the rumors and the legends of Queen Mary being haunted. Uh, we intended it to be three to five years. And it became so popular that it was running seven days a week uh, from opening to closing. And it ran for 16 years. And everyone, you were there. Said that. Okay, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Okay, um, like I said, I was informed that if anything like this ever happened during the tour, we should proceed to the containment room and... Okay. And, uh, well, whoa. hello? So after 16 years, uh, we closed for a year and a half. We retooled it. They wrote an entirely different script, a new script. Uh, special effects have come a long way in 17 years, so we were able to do uh, bigger and better things. So I am uh, Brian Llewellyn. I am the Director of Entertainment and Events for the ship. I've been with uh, the Queen Mary for about five years, and I'm lucky enough to have been the Creative Director on our new Ghosts and Legends tour. Let's go. And in this new version, we've been able to use some cutting edge special effects and really push the envelope for it being an edgy attraction with some amazing interactivity. Jackie, where are you? Uh, I think it's something really special. It's been inspired by the fact that the Queen Mary is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Any number of ghost hunting shows, Time Magazine, uh, a ton of people have written about it. And there are people that absolutely believe that spirits haunt these halls. Uh, D-Deck is the, uh, it's where they say the Lady in White, the known to appear. And to be able to create a haunted attraction in that environment that's gonna operate year round what a wonderful opportunity that is. The soldier that she had married, he betrayed her. And in a fit of jealous rage, she stabbed him in the back multiple times. There's some very special holograms. Uh, we're using some LCD technology uh, to create ghosts that hasn't been done anywhere else. We truly have one-of-a-kind special effects in addition to an environment that you just couldn't replicate anywhere else in the world. Ladies, just want to warn you, be very careful. She has been known to become very jealous of other women. And uh, guys, well, watch your backs. Follow me. Shadows of the past. There's some shocking special effects, including the largest Tesla coil ever built into a haunted attraction that fires off 3.5 million volts of electricity. I mean, this is real lightning in scary proximity to you as a guest. And every guest that walks through the tour, they seem to reflect on the fact that they're standing in an all-metal boat floating in salt water. Those are both conductive, right? And we're firing real lightning 15 feet long directly in front of you in an effort to try to keep the, boat, the ghosts at bay. Yeah! <laughs>